Hello, Saints. It's Pastor Keith welcoming you to another edition of A Breath of Life, where we share a few minutes of truth that will impact you for a lifetime. I don't think no one will argue that in the 21st century, we are living in the information age, where in a touch of a key, much of yours and other people's lives will flash before a keyboard. And because there is so much information out here, one must be careful to research what is true and what is false. The same can be said when it comes to what people are saying about the Bible. For just because someone wears a cross around their neck or attends church doesn't mean they are true followers of the Lord. Jesus warned us in the Gospels that there will be false teachers masquerading as followers of him. And 1 John chapter 4, verse 1 tells us to test every spirit to see whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. Thankfully, Scripture gives a clear description of what to look for in the book of 2 Peter. As you see the three Ds listed, deception, division, and destruction. When you see these things prevalent in a person's life or ministry, it's a neon sign that's flashing before us, warning us of imminent danger. I liken it to identity theft. We all know how serious that is and the litany of problems that occur when someone gets our personal information and begin to use it without our permission to purchase all sorts of things. It's then when you appreciate the credit bureaus and their protocols that prove whether it was you or not. So just as you have the three credit bureaus to protect you and your identity, there's the three spiritual applications to highlight truth and reveal falsehood, which are studied of the word, memorizing the word, and applying the word. If we continue in these three things, it will keep us rooted and grounded in truth and will protect us from going down false paths. Again, this is Pastor Keith Gardner encouraging you Follow us on the web at ccbrotherlife.org or any of our media outlets. Stay encouraged. Be doers of the word and not just hearers.